How has this altered your life? How has this impacted you and your daughter? I don't want to get emotional, but uh, it's a nightmare. Angel Kaba is a former resident of 441 Wilson Avenue in Bushwick, Brooklyn. She was forced to vacate her home following three electrical fires in the building within two months earlier this year. We're waiting for repairs to be done. She now lives in a shelter in Harlem with her daughter. Me and my daughter, we're the only one who are like placed in a shelter because we didn't have nowhere to go, nowhere else to go. The displacement has significantly disrupted their lives. The impact on her daily routine is substantial, particularly when it comes to her daughter's care. I said spend four or five hours to pick up my daughter. That alone is tiring. People! Power! People! Power! On Friday, Kaba and other displaced tenants joined local elected officials and advocates for a rally outside the vacated Bushwick building. The tenants demanded an immediate halt to unpermitted renovation work, a comprehensive review of the building's post-fire conditions, and a guaranteed right of return for all displaced residents. The speakers at the rally included Council Member Sandy Nurse. We're not going to just let you get away with it. And that you might think that tenants are too tired, they're too busy, they don't have enough money to hold you accountable, and that is true, but we will hold you accountable. Nurse says she will use every legal resource available to ensure the rights for tenants are protected. And so there's the trauma of literally wondering if you're going to be physically safe in the home that you pay for and you live in in the community you made for yourself. For Kaba, the situation has taken a heavy emotional toll, particularly on her daughter. And my daughter is sad. She will cry sometimes at night because she want to go home. What a home. She said, I don't want to be homeless. I want to have my toys. I want to have a normal life. And as the community rallies for accountability and the right of return for displaced residents, Kaba faces the daily challenges of her new reality. I mean, as a mom, as a single mom, I feel so helpless. So... It's very challenging. Like, I, I do not wish that on my worst enemy. Attempts to contact management and the owners have not been successful. In Bushwick, Brooklyn, Corey McGinnis, PIX11 News.